All right, let's give it up for the Red Hot Chili Pipers. How about that? Thank you all. Good morning, everybody, and thank you all for coming. Um, this is a really exciting day for us. Uh, we're excited to be opening our doors to uh, the gift making Glasgow community. And, uh, this journey started about a year and a half ago when we came up here uh, kind of on a whim. We heard about this little uh, this little building in Giftnik that uh, maybe we could do a store in. And we, we came by and we saw it and we're like, wow, that's an ugly building. <laughs> but uh, it may look a little different to you. We really encourage you to talk to our team members, ask, try, taste. And uh, as I said before, we put a lot of time into designing the store so it fits the community. It's uh, Every one of our stores is different. They're not cookie cutter. And uh, I think we, we got a lot of it right, and I hope you enjoy it. But if there's something that isn't right, you don't see, our, our stores evolve. Um, and as you shop with us, hopefully, and, and understand what you like, what you may not like, please communicate. Talk to our store leaders. Uh, talk, talk to our team leaders. They're, they're there to help and, uh, and evolve the store and really help it continue to grow so it's uh, your community. Darren Campbell, store team leader. Good morning. You hear me okay? I'm not used to speaking on a microphone, uh, but this is pretty good. Uh, first of all, thank you guys for all being out here today. I really, really appreciate it, and I'd really love it if every single Gifnik team member gave a huge round of applause and thank you to the coordinator team that built the store for us. This one's for my wife. I did this on my wedding night. I wrote the uh, speech on a napkin like two minutes before I was supposed to stand up, so I kind of did the same. Um, I'm not very much of a good scripted guy. I'd rather just speak off the cuff. Um, but I think one of the biggest things that I'm really proud of, you know, it's one thing to build a store, and it's, you know, it, when we come on board, it's our job to operate it and make it work right. So what Jeff said about giving us feedback, please do. We'll take every single piece of feedback that you give us about the store, what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see, how you'd like it done. And that's our job in order to make sure that you guys have a great experience because we're all really passionate about this place and we love what we do here and why we do it. Uh, and we want to make sure you have the same experience because at the end of the day, we all have to eat. Might as well be fun too. Um, but, you know, if I could sum it up in three things that I always tell people and, and somebody pushed me for, for a better answer the last time I gave this one, so hopefully this will be a little more clear. Um, I love what we do, why we do it, and how we do it. And that seems a little abstract, but to put a little definition to that, what we do, we sell the best local and organic quality product anywhere, and all of our stores do that. Um, they all sell unique items to their area, which is, is very cool and special. Um, why we do it, it's the right thing to do, you know? I mean, you think about being sustainable in your environment, uh, with your community, within your, your partners and your suppliers, so the why we do it, that's really important. And how we do it, we put people first, and that's my job. Um, to make sure that all the team members get taken care of so that they can provide the best for you guys. And uh, I just want to thank all the Giftnik team members for joining the team. You guys took a, a great leap of faith, but I think that I've seen some amazing smiles on you guys' faces in the coming weeks. So uh, I look forward to working with you for many years. Um, that said, I'm going to hand it back to Jeff. Thank you guys very much. I hope you have a good time this morning. Thanks, Jim. We're, uh, we're very lucky today to have Cabinet Secretary for Rural Affairs and Environment, Mr. Lockhead, here to speak with speak to it all, and I'd like to bring him up now. So, Mr. Lockhead. Uh, thank you very much, Jeff, and it's a pleasure to be here as uh, Scotland's Food Minister today. I never realised it was going to be a rally outside the store. This is unusual for me to arrive at something like this. This is fantastic. I'll have to get used to your way of working in Scotland. I was in Washington actually just uh, uh, last year and had the opportunity to meet your management over there and have a tour of Whole Foods uh, in Washington. And I thought, this is an amazing place. Wouldn't it be great if we had somewhere like this in Scotland? So the first thing I want to do is convey to Whole Food Markets and all their people a very warm welcome to Scotland. <laughs> now I'm emotional for two reasons. Firstly, we're welcoming you to Scotland today, but also it's good to be back here in Giffnock because I was raised and born just up the road in Clarkston next door. And the shop, oh, someone here from Clarkston. <laughs> 
and the shop where I bought my school uniform at primary school is just along the road there. So there you go, hey, it's all bringing back all these memories. Now, what's very special about uh, Whole Food Markets is you're different to many of our other retailers and it's really special to have you here in Scotland. This is your first store across these islands outside of London and that's very special that you've chosen to come here to, to Scotland. And perhaps that's for a number of good reasons. Firstly, you're going to stock, or you are stocking from day one, 400 Scottish products. That is really good news, well done. If you're looking for a good larder, where you can get wholesome products, from pristine waters, whether it's seafood, grown or reared in pristine waters, or whether it's other products which uh, is underpinned by some of the best raw materials you can get anywhere in the world, grown by our farmers or reared by our farmers in Scotland, then you couldn't have chosen somewhere better to come to uh, than Scotland to be looking for some of the best wholesome produce in the whole of the world. We can supply that here for you in Scotland. And I'm sure some of your suppliers are here to celebrate your opening this morning as well. So we're very, very proud of the food and drink we produce here in Scotland. And it's great to see Whole Foods coming here and stocking so much uh, from day one. But Whole Foods, of course, is about a lot more than just stocking local produce. It's about food education as well, it's about working with consumers uh, and also the local community and trying to source the best, most nutritional, healthy products at the same time. So that's a, a very good thing. We very much support you on that, especially food education, working with consumers about how to cook that fantastic produce that's on your shelves. That's something we're trying to do a lot more of here in Scotland. Uh, you're speaking to the right people. We want to pursue that a lot more in the future uh, in this country. So we are trying to promote through our Scottish food policy more healthy, nutritious and ethically sourced produce as well, whether it's animal welfare issues or whatever else it may be, environmental impact. So your agenda very much changed with the agenda here in Scotland. I finally just want to pay tribute to Scottish Development International and that double-decker bus. <laughs> Scottish Development International uh, and also my own food and drink team in the Scottish Government who work very closely with Whole Foods Markets to work with you to make sure we can give all support we can to attract you to come here to Scotland. So thank you very much for all their hard work as well. I also want to welcome uh, Darren and his family uh, to Scotland and to Gifnock. I'm not sure where you're going to be living, but it's a great country. Your family are going to have a great time. We've got a very fantastic environment um, and you're looking at a product of this area. So what better example can you have? <laughs> Your children are in good stead, so I hope they have a good time uh, here as well. So congratulations to all the staff, uh, to everyone else involved. Best of luck for the future. Happy trading. You're setting a very high standard, good standard for the rest of Scotland's retailers to follow. And I'm sure that's going to happen. Thank you very much for allowing me to participate in your opening and best of luck for the future. thing to do. Um, one of the biggest things that we do is partner with the communities and since the get-go um, I've worked with uh, David, our marketing team leader, to reach out to some people in the community. I'd say he probably did most of the work because I was really focused on trying to hire a lot of people. Um, but either way, with the work that he did and then what Ben Woodgate, our marketing team leader, did, we've, we've got three fantastic charities that we'd like to recognize today um, or local organizations and community groups. So that said, I want to invite up first uh, Vanessa Thompson from Calderwood Lodge Primary School. Who is not here because she's probably teaching a lot of wonderful children. <laughs> so I'm, I'll just mention a little bit about that. So basically with Calderwood Lodge, um, this is one of the schools that we partnered with. And a lot of the, one of the best things that we can do is to go and, and take outreach to schools and teach food education. You get kids turned on at an early age, they develop good habits, it's, it's the root of a lot of things. You know, any of you as parents probably know it's easier to change your eating habits when a little one comes along than something that you've been doing for 25 years yourself. So that said, uh, one of the things we, this money is for, for uh, Calderwood Lodge is for funding a new vegetable garden run by the children at the school. So please check them out and thanks Calderwood for partnering with us. The second one I have is for the Gifnick Scouts. It's Neil Ross here. So one of the things we did for the Scouts, and I believe David did this event uh, while we were doing some of the hiring fairs, I think, maybe, if I heard correctly, it was a really rainy day. But it turned out uh, very fantastic, and basically all the money 
Uh, we donated food for this barbecue and the scouts ran it. So basically all the sales that they made came back to the scouts group. So that's what we have here today. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, the third one that we have is probably one of the first people I met in the community as far as, as local groups. Um, I'd like to welcome Sue Faber from the Maccabi Center. So basically with Maccabi, um, Sue spearheaded an, an interfaith day, which, you know, a huge undertaking. She's basically a, a one-woman army uh, that put together this wonderful event, bringing a lot of, of, of kids and families from multiple faiths together at the Maccabi Center in a great event. And then also uh, some of the additional funds from this are for improving the, uh, the kids' recreation area. So a little bit for the event, a little bit for the facility itself. So I just wanted to thank you for what you're doing for the community and for partnering with us. That's it, I'll hand the phone, the, uh, the phone, the microphone back to Jeff. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Thank um, a lot of times when businesses open, they, uh, they do a ribbon breaking. Um, we do it a little bit different as we usually do at Whole Foods Market. We, uh, we have a bread breaking and our bakers were here at three, three o'clock this morning with a, uh, a kosher challah here for us to do a, a breaking. So I want to invite up uh, Darren, and David Doctorow, Mr. Lockhead. And Lord Provost, this is the Lord Provost room. Alex, Mr. Mackey, come on over. Who else, Ben? Anybody else want to come on up? <laughs> All right, so this is the, this is the start of, uh, of our opening and uh, our, our connection with the community. So I hope you all love, love what you see. We're really excited, and thank you all for coming this morning. Please help yourself to a piece of the hall on your way in. Thanks a lot, everybody.